22nd May is celebrated as International Biodiversity Day. And we believe that each and every species of biodiversity is equally important. So it is our duty to conserve it. As per SDG Goal 50, we have to promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystem, manage forests, combat desertification, prevent land degradation, and hold biodiversity loss. It is a beautiful experience to check in biodiversity. But due to this pandemic, it is not advisable to move here and there. So I, Ojasvi Agarwal of class 12T from Middle Star Public School, I am here to take you to a virtual tour of Jim Corbett National Park situated in the foothills of Kumar and Garwal. Hope you all will like it. Jim Corbett National Park it is one of the most celebrated wildlife reserve in India. Corbett National Park is an amazing blend of high hills, swamp, river, side belts and green meadows, covering an area of 5.2 kilometers at the foothills of the crater Himalayas. And this makes the park a heaven for wildlife adventures lovers. This park is famous for a variety of rare flora, wild animals, reptiles and bird species. A pathway adorned with mango orchards leads one into a complete different housing, a record number of 488 different species of plants and 580 bird types. Moreover, a plethora of 25 reptile species and 50 species of mammals are reasons enough to go personal with this wonderland. Jim Corbett National Park, which is a part of the larger Corbett Tiger Reserve, a project tiger reserve lies in the Nanital district of Uttarakhand. The magical landscape of Corbett is well known and fabled for its tiger richness. Established in the year 1936 as Haley National Park, Corbett has the glory of being India's oldest and most prestigious national park. It is also being honored as the place where Project Tiger was first launched in 1973. This unique Tiger Territory is best known as the father who gave birth of the project Tiger in India to protect the most endangered species and the royal of India called tigers. The park was named as Hale National Park and was later renamed as Jim Corbett National Park after James Edward Corbett, the noted hunter turned conservationist of the area. The area came under Project Tiger in 1971 when Government of India launched this ambitious conservation project. Spans over an extent of 520 square kilometers, its whole area comprises of hills, marshy depressions, riverine belts, grasslands and large lakes. It is among the few tiger reserves in India that allows overnight stays in the lab of the National Park. Nature watch and wildlife viewing the park is done in an open four-wheeler jeep and on elephant back, sheltering a healthy population of tigers and rare species like otters and the endemic fish-eating crocodile. The national park is one of the most sought-after destinations for the wildlife buffs. Dikala, situated at the border of the extensive Patil Dun Valley, is the most popular destination in Corbett because of its super location and sheer abundance of wildlife present. Today, after addition of areas into the original declared national park, the total area of Tiger Reserve extends 1288.31 square kilometers, spreading over three districts of Uttarakhand, namely Pori, Nanital, and Almora. Corbett National Park covers an area of 521 square kilometer and together with the neighboring Sona Nadi Wildlife Sanctuary and Reserve Forest Areas forms the Corbett Tiger Reserve. Geographically, it is located between the Shivalik Himalayas and the Terai. The streams, rivers and ridges crisscrossing the terrain present Corbett with a remarkable variety of landscapes. This vivid mosaic of habitats, wet and dry, plain and mountainous, gentle and rugged, forest and grassland supports numerous plant and animal species representing Himalayan as well as plains ecosystem. 
The most famous of Corbett's wild residents are the Royal Bengal Tiger and the Asiatic Elephant. In addition to that, with over 550 species of Avifauna Corbett is one of the richest bird regions of the country and has been declared as an important bird area, IBA, by BirdLife International. If you love bird watching, then Corbett is virtual heaven for such tourists. Corbett and its adjoining area is a home to more than 650 species of residents and migratory birds. Particularly, Dikala is a fine place to look for birds of prey. More than over 50 species of raptors alone so shows the healthy biodiversity of the area. Their multiplex behavior is intriguing and their varied songs are very much pleasing to the ear. In a nutshell, this finest national park of India is well known for rich and varied wildlife including Royal Bengal Tiger, Elephant, 4 to 5 species of deer and rich bird life. Activities to do in Jim Corbett National Park Jeep Jungle Safari As a tourist, if you wish to appreciate the wildlife closely, the Corbett Tiger Reserve offers you the facility of Jungle Safari. One can undertake the safari to spot various wild animals like elephants, deer, gharials, crocodiles and tigers. They can also indulge in bird watching and simply enjoying the beauties of precious nature. Bird Watching Corbett Tiger Reserve is one of the richest bird regions of India and world. More than 550 species of birds make Corbett a very special place for enthusiastic bird watchers. Sightings of birds, species like Great Hornbill, Great Slaty Woodpecker, Palace Fishing Eagle, Lineated Barbet, Spot Bellied Eagle Owl, Pin Tailed Green Pigeon, Red Headed Vulture, Racket Tailed Drongo, and Broad Bell are avid bird watchers' delight. Elephant Ride Elephant rides are offered at Corbett Landscape. Dikala and Bijrani during mornings and evening shifts and any visitors with a desire to have a different view of the jungle, its wildlife and landscape can venture for this. Elephant rides offer a unique experience in itself and there is no equal of spotting a wild carnivore from an elephant pack. The elephants are mainly used for patrolling of the forest by the forest staff. But when not on patrolling duties, they are used for taking the wildlife enthusiast into the forest. Booking for the elephant rides is done strictly on first come, first get basis. Wildlife Movie Show During evenings, the lodgers at Thikala and Pajrani can enjoy films on wildlife that are screened to provide an informative entertainment to visitors. Watch Overs and Machans There are watch overs at Thikala Bijrani and Jhirna zones and several machans near Dikala, Bijrani and Kothirao to facilitate the viewing of wildlife. Depending on availability, visitors can use them for wildlife viewing after getting permission from the authorities. Library Facilities Dikala also has a well-stocked library which has a fine collection of books concerning wildlife and general topics. Visitors can use this facility during leisure hours. Informative literature and few standard books have also been kept in all the other rest houses as well so as to make good of available time. Interpretation Center At the entry of Tikala Zone, an interpretation or visitor center has been set up and is a must-visit place before entering the park. Here, via beautifully designed dioramas, stuffed specimens, maps, etc., important information about the park and wildlife management in the country is displayed. Corbett Museum Corbett Museum is located at Kaladungi, some 30 kilometers from Ramnagar on the way to Nanital. Corbett Museum has been set up in the heritage bungalow of Jim Corbett. This magnificent museum brings back the memories of old days and teaches a lot about the life and activities of Jim Corbett who lived here and is still dead loved and revered by the inhabitants of the village.
Dikala Cantor Safari is an additional standard for a trip to Dikala, the deepest region of Corbett National Park. Here, the park administration conducts the Cantor Safari in two shifts. The first is from 600 hours in the sunrise time and another in the afternoon from 1200 hours. Both are around 5 hours extensive to take pleasure in this Cantor Safari. For those visitors who were unable to get their reservation at any FRH inside the Dikala zone, this is the only way to explore the Kala forest even if they are staying outside the park in any resort. In order to promote tourism in the region, Corbett National Park has been divided into five different zones. These are the marked buffer or core area of the park where visitors can be part of wildlife safari and can enjoy the intriguing behavior of the animals with bare eyes at proximity. Bijrani Safari Zone Bijrani Zone is very popular tourist hub because of its abundant natural beauty and open grasslands. The entry gate of the zone is located at only 1 km from Ramnagar city. Jhirna Safari Zone Jhirna is another important tourist zone in the Jim Corbett National Park that is open for tourists round the year. Jhirna Gate is located at 16 km from Ramnagar city. Dhela Safari Zone Dela is a new ecotourism zone in Corbett National Park included in Tiger Reserve Zone in November 2014. This is the only area in the reserve's buffer zone open to tourists in CTR. The zone is retaining the attention of large number of tourists because of its wealthy flora and fauna. Open throughout the year, located at an approximate distance of 13 km from Ramnagar city. Durga Devi Zone, located on the northeastern boundary of the Jim Corbett National Park, Durga Devi Zone is the heaven on planet Earth for those who are fond of bird watching. Entry gate is located at an approximate distance of 36 km from Ramnagar city. Corbett Landscape Sita Bani Zone, Corbett Landscape Sita Bani Zone doesn't fall under the Corbett Tiger Reserve area. If you are fond of serene ambience of the natural beauty, you must visit Sitabani area. Dikala Zone Being the largest and most varied zone in Corbett, Dikala is famous for its abundant natural beauty as well as offering the best site for exotic fauna. The entry gate is 18 km away from Ramnagar city. Night stay inside the Dikala tourism zone is highly recommended for the hardcore wildlife enthusiast. Dikala Forest Lodge Jim National Corbett Park is the sole national park in India that offers night stay inside its jungle. Dikala Forest Lodge is a historic structure have been built over hundreds of years ago by Britishers. This old rest house is very much popular among tourists. It offers snug accommodation option with pre-taking vistas of flora and fauna. Though it is not very much luxury, but the staying experience amidst jungle is something simply unforgettable. The tourism inside the park is run and managed by Forest Department.